Rihanna is one of the most well-known celebrities of the 21st century. She's broken several music records, won nine Grammys, and has been a successful entrepreneur, having launched inclusive makeup and fashion lines, among other things. Welcome to Fact District, and here are some surprising fun facts about Rihanna that you might not have known before. Number 17. You've probably been pronouncing her name wrong. Rihanna prefers to have her name pronounced Rihanna. Rihanna's name is pronounced Rihanna rather than Rihanna, according to a number of videos of the singer demonstrating her pronunciation. Number 16, she had a cameo in Bring It On All or Nothing. Bring It On All or Nothing, a song by Rihanna, home video from Universal Studios, Rihanna starred as herself in a cheerleading film from the 2000s. She made an appearance as a judge at the final tournament, where she announced the winning cheer team, which was then given the opportunity to perform in her music video. Number 15, Rihanna won a beauty pageant in high school. Rihanna won her high school beauty pageant in 2004, a year before the release of her first hit single, Ponder Play, which was released in 2005. Part of the reason she was crowned Miss Cumbermere was her performance at Mariah Carey's Hero during the talent portion of the competition. She admitted to the Daily Mail in 2007 that she had entered the pageant on the strength of a dare. Number 14, she received military training in Barbados. Rihanna was in Barbados as part of a military training program. The singer's home country of Barbados was where she first got her start as an army cadet in a sub-military program before going on to become a worldwide sensation. In the same Daily Mail interview, she stated that her military training had actually aided her in her preparation for the beauty pageant competition. The model's military training came in handy when she was learning to balance books on her head for the catwalk, she explained. She had to be ordered around. She had to be ordered around, according to Rihanna's drill sergeant, singer-songwriter Chantel, who spoke to BBC News in 2009. Drill sergeants are responsible for this. Cadets are bossed around and we make them do push-ups, especially when they arrive late to the parade square, she explained. Number 13, Rihanna signed her first record deal at 16 years old and Jay-Z played a role in the offer. Rihanna's big break came thanks to Jay-Z's assistance. The following year, following an audition for record producer Evan Rogers in 2003, Rihanna produced a demo in 2004 and was later flown into New York to meet Jay-Z, then president of the Def Jam record label. He was so desperate to sign Rihanna that the label's meeting with her reportedly lasted until 3 a.m. while the lawyers worked out the final details of the contract. Rihanna signed a contract with the label when she was 16 years old. Number 12, Umbrella wasn't originally written for Rihanna. The song was intended to be a tribute to Britney Spears. Rihanna's hit song almost didn't make it to the top of the charts. In an interview with Vice, the singer revealed that the song was originally written for her, but that she declined the offer. It was then made available to both Mary J. Blige and Def Jam Records for consideration. In the event that Mary J. Blige was unable to complete the transaction, the record label was able to purchase a song for Rihanna. Please do not attempt to bring an umbrella to her performances. Fans were not permitted to bring umbrellas to her concerts. Following the success of her song Umbrella in 2008, Rihanna was forced to ban umbrellas from her concerts due to increased security risks. Number 11, one of her most successful songs topped the charts for 10 weeks in a row. We Found Love is one of Rihanna's most popular songs and one of her most successful singles. A major hit for Rihanna was her song We Found Love, which featured DJ Calvin Harris and was released in 2011. The song topped the charts for a record-breaking 10 weeks in a row and remained in the top 100 for nearly a year. According to the New Musical Express magazine, Harris later admitted to The Sun in 2012 that the song had completely transformed his career. Number 10, she holds a few different Guinness World Records. Musician Rihanna holds a number of world records for her work. A number of Guinness World Records were broken by Rihanna, including the most consecutive years of UK number one single, the female artist with the most US number one singles in a year, and the most digital number one single in the United States. Number 9, Rihanna sometimes sneaks into her audience before shows. Rihanna admits to having a drink before a show in order to calm her nerves. 
Brianna's pre-show rituals include a diluted shot of vodka and, on occasion, sneaking into the audience to watch the first act. She told Esquire magazine in 2011 that she takes a shot before every show to keep her nerves under control. In order to make the shot a little less harsh, my personal assistant turned bartender brings it to me with a little something like orange juice or soda water and lime, she explained. The opening act is being watched from her dressing room or from the audience if she is dressed appropriately. She is sipping her drink the entire time. On occasion, I will walk out into the audience. I put on a colossal hoodie and sneak out into the street. She spoke with Esquire about it. Number 8. She starred in a few videos for The Lonely Island. She appeared in two Lonely Island parody videos with comedic actor Andy Samberg, Shy Ronnie, which she co-starred in with Samberg, and Shy Ronnie 2, Ronnie and Clyde, which she also co-starred in with Samberg. Number 7, she was the first woman to launch a fashion line for LVMH. R&B singer Rihanna has launched a fashion line called Fenty. In 2019, Rihanna became the first female designer to collaborate with a luxury fashion house, LVMH, Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton to create an original fashion line. Number 6, she is known for her philanthropic work. Rihanna was named the 2017 Harvard Humanitarian of the Year in recognition of her tireless efforts and charitable contributions over the past decade. Besides working with several of her own charitable organizations, such as the Clara Lionel Foundation, Rihanna also hosts an extremely successful charity ball every year known as a Diamond Ball. Her Clara Lionel Foundation, which she founded, recently donated $5 million to coronavirus relief efforts. Number 5. She made a guest appearance on Bates Motel in 2017. Despite the fact that the superstar is best known for roles in films such as Ocean's 8 and Home, many fans may be surprised to learn that she appeared in two episodes of the a and &E Network's Bates Motel in 2017. Marion Crane, the character she played, met a tragic end. Number 4. She said she's witnessed a few exorcisms. As a child growing up in Barbados, Rihanna claims to have witnessed several exorcisms. In a 2011 interview with the Los Angeles radio station, Rihanna stated that she has witnessed several exorcisms firsthand. During the video, Rihanna describes an incident that occurred at a church during which a girl went out of control and everyone heard a different voice. Number 3. Rihanna wasn't allowed to wear makeup growing up. Rihanna has launched her own cosmetics line. Despite the fact that she is now a beauty mogul, Rihanna was not permitted to wear makeup as a child. My mother was adamant about not being flexible. I didn't put on any makeup. In 2017, she shared her thoughts with InStyle. Rihanna also revealed that her fascination with all things beauty related stemmed from her mother's work at a beauty counter when she was a child. Number 2. She has a street named after her in Barbados. The street where Rihanna grew up is now known as Rihanna Street. According to Billboard, the street where Rihanna grew up in Barbados has been renamed Rihanna Drive after the singer. The street was previously known as Westbury New Road. In 2017, the superstar attended the naming ceremony, which took place on Barbados Independence Day. Number 1. There are several wax figures of her displayed around the world. The singer had eight different wax figures displayed in Madame Tussauds museums all over the world as of 2013, according to the company's website. Construction on the most recent piece, which can be seen at the Times Square location in New York, took a total of four months. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Do you know some other facts about Rihanna? Let us know in the comments! Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.